You've probably heard that math is a part of our lives everywhere, and that's true. For example, think about how much math goes into just this cookie. You use math when you measure things, count things, figure out what shape something is, or cut it in half. But have you ever noticed the math skills you use when you practice coding? Think about the way you solve a math problem like this. There are ordered steps to follow. I should solve this problem moving left to right. Along the way, I need to make careful decisions. And at the end, I will double check my work. These are some of the same skills you use when you are coding. Today, you're going to use math skills to design and build your own game level in Codable's Maze Maker. Here's your mission. Build a maze that includes the shape of a square. How many tiles make up each side of your square? If I want to build a maze, I need to plan ahead. First, I'll pick a background. There are a lot of other tools to choose from. I can draw my maze, erase if I make a mistake, decorations, condition tiles, and test the maze. I'm going to start with the maze tiles. Do you notice the individual tiles that appear wherever I click? We can use them to help us count, add, subtract, and make certain shapes. Let's practice this mission together. Remember, your coding mission is to design a maze that includes the shape of a square. So I'm going to start by drawing my square. We know that a square has sides that are all the same length. I think I want my square to have five tiles per side. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. But this square is not a maze yet. I need to connect the square to each side of the maze maker. Notice how the start tile appears in the far left column and the end tile on the right. It's time to place the stars in my maze to make sure it's solvable. I'm ready to test my maze. I need my fuzz to collect all three stars and get to the finish. So I want my fuzz to move right, down, right, up, right. Let's try it. Don't worry if you can't solve it on the first try. Just try again. At the start of my square, I want my fuzz to turn down. But we know our fuzz will continue to roll to the right until it hits a wall. We need something right here in our maze to tell our fuzz to change directions. Good news is we can always go back and edit the maze. These are condition tiles. We can use them to change our fuzz's path in our program. I'm going to put one right here that will tell my fuzz, if pink, then turn down. Now that I've edited my maze, I'm ready to try again. Can't forget to add that condition to the program, if pink, then turn down. Off and rolling. We did it. Remember, in programming and in math, we test, we make fixes, and try again until the problem is solved. Now I can save my maze. You're up next. Log into Codable, select the maze maker, and complete your mission. Build a maze that includes the shape of a square. How many tiles make up each side of your square? Get creative and happy coding. <laughs>